Hi, I'm Darcy Carden. <laughs> Hi, I'm Darcy Carden, and I'm in studio with The Hollywood Reporter. I feel, I feel like I should start with uh, the question of the blooper reels, the famous blooper reels. Are they famous? Of The Good Place. Yes. Have you have you ever watched them? Yeah. We do. We watch them at the wrap party. Oh, that's it's excellent. Really fun. That's excellent. I was wondering, is there a particular blooper that you love out of that those groups? Um, yeah, I mean, Ted is like such a giggler that I, um, whenever, he's like really easy to make giggle. So I, I could watch like a, a half hour blooper reel of just him giggling. Mm -hmm. There is one blooper from um, this last season mm -hmm. um, where Mark Evan Jackson, who plays Sean, is he's, I mean, I guess, spoiler alert? Not really. He's, a, he's tied up to a chair and we're all looking oh, yes. at him. It's in the bar scene. Yes. And he says uh, something about, he calls us wasp nostrils, I yes. think. I don't want just any wasp, wasp nostrils. I don't want just any wasp nostrils. I want these wasp nostrils. <laughs> I don't want just any wasp nostrils. I want these wasp nostrils. This is personal for me. <laughs> I can't even hear it anymore. And he truly could not say that he couldn't say wasp nostrils yeah. and we and then once he finally could after like 10 takes then we couldn't hear it <laughs> without laughing so th there's like a little bit of a blooper in that blooper reel but it went on for so long like I think I, I thought we were gonna have to like change the line <laughs> it was funny we are closing in on season four Ooh. the end of it yeah the end so of course I'm going to ask you do you know how it ends I do know how it ends uh-huh for a couple of reasons. One, because we freaking shot it. It's yeah. done. Yeah. And two, because when Mike Schur, the creator, told us a year ago that mm. we that this was gonna be our last season, he told us what the whole season was gonna look like. Oh, wonderful. Which kind of made it easier. When I when yeah. I heard that this was gonna be our last season, I was sad and mm -hmm. mad and feeling bad. Mm -hmm. Not glad. <laughs> Sorry. And um and but then once he explained what this season would look like and what, when he explained what the end was, then it all really made sense and really seemed correct and right and like the perfect ending. So it made it, yeah. um, and it, it, I wasn't mad anymore. I was like, yeah, that, that's right. You got right. that right, Mike, sure. It must be nice to be part of, since it's a television show that's so surreal, it must be nice to have it tie up because yeah. I feel like a lot of people end up on shows and then they kind of go places and you're not exactly sure how it's going to end yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. This was, I mean, I, I, I trust Mike so much and those writers. Um, like I always knew, I didn't know what the ending was going to be, but I always knew that it would be, I, I've had so much faith in them. It, really from a very, very early on in, in um, the show process, I was like, you know, especially because season one, we didn't know what the twist was mm, until yes. way, way deep into shooting. And once that went as well as it did, I really was like, Jesus take the wheel, Jesus being Mike Schur. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because I was I was like, he, I trust him. Now I've asked a couple of the other cast members, um, since The Good Place is all about philosophy and what makes a person good, what makes a person moral, has being on The Good Place made you a better person? I think so, yeah. I mean, it's simple, weird, little, tiny things, like thinking, I mean, I think I was good before. Like, I think my parents raised me real good. Mm -hmm. But little things like um, I, thinking of other people all the time. That, I mean, I, like, here's an example that I wouldn't have littered anyway, but like, I'm not gonna leave something on the ground because I, I know that someone else has to come pick it up. It's mm -hmm. like that times a million, you know? Yeah. It's like everything that you do has, um, it causes a reaction and and it affects everybody else. Oh, let's talk about the episode Janet's. Okay. Um, speaking of Will and Kristen, you had to play <laughs> all of your cast member, the four major right. cast members, the humans. What? Yes. Tell me what it was like to embody the humans and to embody specifically those actors. Right. Well, it was. Um, Really hard yeah. <laughs> and really fun. I read about the process. It's a, it was a very complicated process. Yeah, it was super technical filming. and not something I was used to. When Mike Schur and the writers told me that I was going to be doing this or that this is what they were writing, they were so excited about it and they were so <laughs> sort of giddy in explaining it that it 
you knew, you knew, I knew it was like a big deal to them. Yes. So then I was like, okay, I really have to bring it. Like right, this is, right. they're excited about this. So that means like, I can't half-ass it at all. I have to really, you know, um, make their vision become a reality. Yeah. So I think I put a weird amount of pressure on myself to like nail it. That sounds legitimate, like a legitimate amount of pressure. Right. Thank you for that. <laughs> to carry an yeah. entire episode. Right. Basically. Right. Yeah. And, and and you know I'm not I'm not used to that. And Janet certainly doesn't. Usually she kind of just like pops in and pops out. So mm-hmm. I was um, I over prepared. I prepared. I made myself cuckoo. I made my mm-hmm. husband cuckoo. <laughs> We're still together. <laughs> um. But he really helped me a lot, truly. Yeah. My husband, Jason, was like uh, my, I, I sort of like cocoon up when I get stressed and especially uh, yeah. when it's about acting stuff. Uh-huh. And so uh, it was mostly just me and him going over lines for many, many, many hours a day. Uh-huh. And um, But it was, you know, I watched a lot of old episodes. Mm-hmm. I had the editors cut together a reel of like simple things that each character would do, like truly just walking and sitting and turning and just like just kind of studying them yeah um which was so fun but it did it's just a weird you know if it was like one character maybe it would have been a different (sighs) thing but I was like trying to keep all four straight Janet has been put into the history of books did you have to do anything mentally to kind of place her into history Aww, knowing that something is ending for so long there's a lot of ends there's a lot Mm. of there's the big giant right. end, and that's a wrap on everything. But right. al- there's also these little, um, you know, wraps along the way, wrapping up things along the way. There was one moment where I, like, took my name off of my trailer, which felt really heartbreaking. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. My name being Janet. And yeah. uh, I'm trying to think. It just was, it was equally, like, painful and so we it was we were really happy like it was we being the cast and the crew and everybody knowing that it was ending it was like we really took we didn't take anything for granted this last season so let's talk about Barry okay are you excited about season three I am excited about season three yeah what should we expect from our uh acting troupe so I don't Mm -hmm. know a ton I should just say I don't know anything but that would but you know a little (laughs) (laughs) um but I I truly can't tell you anything yes but yes. it is I mean that show oof, that is such a good show yeah and they they have so much fun writing it and you know it's so it's I've known Bill for a really long time and it's very fun to see him so excited about something yeah and so fulfilled by something um and I kind of like knew you know I our little weird origin stories that I used to be his babysitter right like <laughs> almost 10 years ago yeah. and um I always just knew that this type of thing would be in his future, like directing and writing and darker things. And and so it's so Mm. cool not just to like get to see it, but to also be a part of it. It's really fun. Henry Winkler is your acting coach. Yes. Um, What can you learn from Henry Winkler himself? So much, so much, so much, like from top to bottom. Um, And, you know, weirdly on that, when, when, we were first cast, the acting class was first cast. After our first table read, Bill sort of surprised us with an acting class taught by Henry Winkler. So we were like meeting each other for the first time, Uh meeting Henry Winkler for the first time, which was like exciting in itself. Uh And then Bill was like, okay, well, we're all gonna leave and you guys stay here and Henry's gonna teach you an acting class. And it was really fun. He's a great teacher. But he, he, I mean, the thing about Henry is he is, have you met him before? No. He is truly one of the world's best people. That's what I've heard. Such a nice man. He's so nice, and he's so grounded and so warm. He is so wonderful and cares so much about the people he cares about and is so generous. And he's just, I love that man mm-hmm. deeply. He is wonderful. And we, um, I think, you know, we bonded in real life, but our characters have this weird special bond, too, so we sort of... We have this extra little fun thing, yeah. and um, we, you know, we like we like getting to act together. Uh, Natalie and the rest of the acting troupe, what play would you like to see them in oh, if you if you could question. choose? You know, we had so much fun with the Shakespeare the season one. We did this big like Shakespeare uh-huh. festival. I don't really know what it was, yeah. but on the cutting room floor, 
truly pray that they will be released someday. There is so much footage of us doing long Shakespeare scenes. Like we, the acting class does a lot and it doesn't always like further the plot so it doesn't always make it right, in but right. we do a lot <laughs> we do a lot that doesn't make it in and and those shakespeare scenes uh were so fun and we rehearsed them i mean we rehearsed barry a lot um, usually on a show you just rehearse like the day of and we rehearse before wow. days before and we sort of rehearse it like a play which is so fun and different and um so doing those shakespeare uh, scenes, you know, Bill and Alec had us like go away and sort of work on them on our own and then bring them. It, it's really fun. It's like very fulfilling and very nerdy and acting class ish. Um, but one thing that I loved from the pilot was that they were, and, and from season one especially, is that they were doing a lot of movies, not plays. They were doing like in that, in the pilot, they were doing true romance and. Mm maybe there was a scene from Magnolia and that is so funny to me that it's like an LA acting class doing you know like mid 2000s 90s yeah, yeah. movies is so <laughs> yeah. funny to me yeah. so something like something really you know doing like Boogie Nights as a play amazing oh my god in would fact, love that I'm gonna pitch that to Bill right now <laughs> <Yeah>. when we're done <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Uh, okay, so my last question to you. Uh, we would love to know if there was anything in the works, um, any projects between you and your pals, Abby Jacobson and Alana Glazer. Anything happening? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad. Yeah. I'm so glad. Can't say anymore. No, but yes. No, but Wonderful. yes. But and also always and forever. Yes, but of yes. course. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, that's very exciting. Yeah. I'm super happy with that. Cool. Darcy, this thank you fun. so much for being here. Thank you for having me. And uh, check out Barry and the final season of The Good Place. Ooh.